Hey guys, what is going on? Sherlock Sly here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Wall of Insanity. Um, I'm just going to kind of play through it, give you guys my um, actual reactions on it, and uh, like this is my first time playing it. I just want to kind of give smaller devs a chance to um, put their game out there and for maybe others to actually try it out. But yeah, let's, um, let's jump right into it. I know it's been a long time since I've been gone, but uh, I've been working so much, and this weekend I'm actually heading out to my cousin, so I'm going to have some fun. That Modern Warfare 2 comes out, uh, Modern Warfare 2 demo comes out this weekend too, so I'm going to be trying that out while I'm over there. Nice little detail in the game here. Um, it looks like there's a book called Behind the Wall of Sleep. I don't know if that's a, um, a reference to another book or something. But uh, I guess we're going to see if this game has some uh, depth into it. Because the last game I played was actually Sagebrush, and that game was fucking awesome. Police operation in Herman. The 29th District Police Unit arrived to detain the founders of a secret cult that was engaged in abductions and conducting occult rituals. During the operation, command lost contact with the group, and I can't read that fast. They should have a prompt for you so you can finish the, the, the dialogue in the beginning, because there's absolutely no talking in the cutscene. And these are regular people doing voice acting. Fox, do you copy? The Cobalt unit has arrived. Sigma 1, in position. Clear. Maintaining a visual on the target. Sigma 2, execute operation. Entering the, now. It's so weird, man, like, to actually hear people, I mean, like, Okay, people do actual voiceovers and shit for video games, but these guys are like complete amateurs, and um, that's totally fine though, because they they've actually spent the time to create something. So you gotta give mad respects to that. Uh, the graphics are a little weird. Um, seem like there's like a, a filter issue or something on these, but uh, well, maybe it's maybe it's supposed to be like a dreamlike state. Never know what you find around the corner. Clear. I know there's a uh, first person mode too. Uh, how did I do? Oh, there we go. Clear. Roger. Continue searching. His mic is absolute shit. Oh, cool. Mike, cover me. I'm heading upstairs. His Hudson, name? check the room. His name is Mike without an E. Roger that. Roger that. The search party found one of the missing children who disappeared a month ago. Laura M, 13, fled from the kidnappers and hid in the woods. Her testimony might greatly help the investigation and lead the police on the trail of the kidnappers. So we got ourselves a little kidnapping here. Uh, got ourselves some keys. I'm digging a little ambience in the music in the background. Like, there might be more to this story that, you know, offers than just some basic shooter game.
Can't even go through that door. They say you can destroy some objects, so. I don't really want to waste my bullets, but goddamn. If I have to shank a table, I'm gonna have to shank a table. Oh, here we go. His knife attack's a little weak. Yo, he got fucked up. Found a body in the basement. It's an officer from the first group. Do not copy. I can't hear you. Repeat. Yeah, the voice acting is a little, uh, little weird, but it's, I mean, these guys straight up made a game, so I, I have no room to talk. <laughs> Shit's about to go down. Well, used to big bad guys shoot down doors. You got anything for me? I I suppose if what the fuck? What the hell is that? What the do? Oh, now the door's open. Get the fuck out of here. Chained and locked. Oh, here we go. Shotgun shells. Let's go. Because I've just been freaking aimlessly firing. Bro, what? Dude is tripping out, dog. He is tripping out. Fuck out of here. Looks like we ain't got the right key. What the fuck? I forgot you're gonna run. Nothing. What the fuck is that? Jesus Christ. Like I'm saying shit. Bro. Oh my god. Let's get the fuck 
out of here, dude. One of those bastards up on top. How do you heal? <coughs> oh, cool. That's how you do it. Black pick. Should have been using a knife this whole time, man. Bro, what the fuck? Cut a bitch up! Fuck you up, bro! The fuck out of here! Thermit Affliction report from Burdeck. People are having the same nightmares. Patients visits. Patients visits? Patient visits. Patients visit. Patients visits have increased with all cases reporting the patients suffering from terrible dreams. According to the doctors, the descriptions of dreams in a strange way converge with each other and resemble visions of the mentally ill. Among other things, there are also cases of shared hallucinations, a tall figure in a raincoat appearing to the patients almost as if in continuation or exists extension Stenson of those bad dreams. I've never heard of an extension before. And I do like my vocabulary. I do like my vocabulary. Yeah, give me some ammo. Whoa, they gave me a lot of ammo. Alright, let's not go fucking crazy with it this time. The fucking things are scary. Don't die, scary, dog. Locked. Let me guess. Ooh. Hand it over, bruh. Alright. Now we got the gat. Got the gat and the ammo bag. See that there's a little, uh... Wait, hang on. Is the wall? I thought I, I thought I saw through it. Anywho. I got the gat, bro. Dude, just on one really bad acid trip. <coughs> Yo, fuck your body, bitch. Give me your shit. Nothing. All right. She's looking at you, ugly motherfucker. I see you down there. What you gonna do? Oh, who's a good boy? All right, don't fuck me up too much, man. Bruh, this is not a bad game. I almost don't want to finish it because, like, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. Yo, I'm gonna need you to back up five steps. It's very eerie. There's no music going on right now. I would love to make music for these guys because this game is not bad. Um, <clears throat> we're obviously in the curious stage of what the hell is going on. There's got to be a guy up there. Nope. Inventory is full. <laughs> Damn! 
mean, I can only carry two things right now. I wonder if there's save points on this game. Yo! Better back the fuck up, dude. I got a shotgun. I'm gonna fuck your mom. Alright, pause. Alright, guys. So, if you want me to continue this game, let me know. I think we're gonna cut this at like a good 18 minutes um, and go from there. Uh, thank you guys for watching part one of Wall of Insanity. And I hope to figure out if you guys want to see this again. So, peace out and have a good day.